<laughs> Hello, everyone. We're going to get into this next one right now. FX Launchables versus T-Lock Oracle. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Two heavy hitters uh, in the DFW area. Oracle known for a, a long reputation, a long career of awesome victories. Launchables Three, being um, two, the boy wonder, one, the prodigy. Go. Yeah, um, as of the past several months, uh, Lunchables has decided just to only go Marth in this matchup. He really doesn't think Roy or, or Tim Lee can cut it against Rob. And especially against someone like uh, Drinking Food. Uh, that's yeah. when we saw his Marth really make that breakout win against Rob, who Lunchables has just generally struggled against uh, for a long time now. So that was his way of fighting the demon that is Rob. Yeah, Rob is, Rob is definitely a scary monster. He definitely hides under your bed. Um, I do think Marth definitely um, has a better chance in neutral against a character like Rob than a character like Roy would, just because of how they play neutral and where Roy wants to get up close and in your face, and Marth kind of just wants to zone you out with, with the tip of. Well, let's. So from this point, you're noticing that there's way a little subtle mini game that's going on in between there. You no, know, dealing with the lasers, but primarily dealing with the top. So yeah. what can the top do that's that's disruptive in terms of the dash dance game that Mark has? Well, it's just a super active hitbox. So like, it puts out a zone where you, it just says, "Hey, you can't go here. This is this is mine." And it just it since you can, brought both of their item games are phenomenal, but like Oracle can use it to his advantage to just kind of disrupt any time Zach's trying to um, space him out with movement or just trying to put the fear in him, I guess, for lack of a better term. Well, we're looking for a lot of these fair combos, taking him off the side, looking like Oracle, uh, not afraid to take himself down to the depth I, because he has stock advantage. Yeah, that's that was that's the time that's the kind of thing you definitely risk. Okay, so hmm. surprise to roll behind and get the grab. There's the forward throw. Right now he's playing real estate game. He's just saying, I'm this is my stage, you don't get to pass me. And if you try to jump for this platform, I have this nice dish run that's gonna cover it. Yeah. Rob is super good at taking stage face if you um, give him a chance, and Zach is doing a super good job of just kind of maintaining the stage space and make it ambiguous where at where he's going to be at any given time by um, mixing up his dash dance really well. But Oracle's doing a good job of trying to force himself back on. He's just now he's starting to catch rhythm with it. Guessing the forward roll. Oh, interesting. So if oh. he was a little bit closer, would you have hit him with that, correct? Probably. Uh, one one thing about um, maintaining stage space is one good reach can give you momentum. And that there's a psychological effect of that in, in any Smash game. And that has a big effect on things, especially with the way this matchup is being played. Ooh. Ooh, great forward smash. That was weird. That was pretty sick. Oh. Was that a pivot forward smash? Yeah. That's pretty nice. But it was all hilt. It was all hilt, but it was looked really cool. <laughs> oh, great chase down. Ooh, I thought he was going to get him with a strong hit of dash attack, and that probably would have led to the stock. Yeah, because he would have just followed up with uh, fair multiple yeah. times. There is the forward smash. Caught the a uh, bit of the, uh, the, the tip of the middle of the blade. So, now all that's all we've been seeing this match. This has been the primary theme, is just we've been seeing uh, these two pushing each other back into the corner, and then it's them seeing how well they can hold that space. Corner? Oh, great DI though. Rob still living. Rob, very heavy. Down throw, should be able to get a combo. Okay, no, great DI. Whoa, he Ooh. waited. That was super sick. He waited for him to get up on the tech, and then he went in with uh, and invested with that up, up air, correct? Mm -hmm. That was that was super nice. Um, but he like did the, like the fade away fair to make him to make it look like he was committing to an option, and then he faded down and got him with the up air. That was super smart. Lunchable's going for the dares there, but he still got juice in him. Yep. Yeah, okay. As long as Rob still has fuel, he is able to get back onto the stage. It's true. 110% juice. Ooh, good spot dodge. There. Okay. He still Great. has, but he still has juice, and he's going to be able to come out from a uh, from above. Is there ways that we can tell whether or not? Oh no, he's uh, done. No. Okay. Yeah, Rob is a heavyweight. I'm surprised he lives still, though. That was amazing, Di. I thought because he was right at the edge of the stage. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, he's alive. That's that's all I know. There was a smoke effect and everything. I am shocked. <laughs> Miraculous DI, but forward throw hmm, does not reach. I mean, Lunchable seems to be going for a, quite a bit of dares here. It, I mean, he's looking to convert that into something else after he hits him into the ground, pops uh, him up or something. He could be. He could just be going for a tech chase. 
Um, I'm not really sure. Yeah, that should be it. All right. And Lunchables does the classic Lunchables head shake, even though you won. <laughs> Look at this. The fair strings. I love that. I love that. Oh, the extended Ken combo. That was like the only period of time where Oracle DI'd the fairs in, really. Other than that, his DI on the fairs were pretty good to avoid getting Ken combos. I'm really surprised he didn't. Because a lot of times characters, uh, if you DI in on the fair, if you DI out after that, uh, you're just dead because you're too far away. But Rob can recover pretty much no matter what. So I'm surprised that actually worked on him. Okay, so let's say you're Oracle in this situation. What do you want? Which stages do you want to go to? Okay, uh, well, that that one. Three, I will take two, it back. They're just running it back. One, yeah, I mean, go. I. it wasn't like that was a... And all that, he just kind of dominated that game, so I don't see a reason that this is a bad choice. Yep. I would have wanted a bigger stage. Like, I know, I imagine uh, Lunchables would have banned Delfino and Distant Planet. So I don't know, this isn't a bad choice. It's fine. Whoa, fair oh. to fair to forward smash? If that would have tipped, he would have been dead, because that was a pretty questionable DI. Because he was dealing with combo DI for the majority of those pairs, and he was trying to make sure he got away, but. If he would have, as he got caught with that forward smash, he somehow he knew just to hold in those in yeah. reflexes. Oh, oh my God! The turnaround back air, looking like drinking food. Oh, dirty. Okay. Oh, he's trying to take him up to the other platform. Whoa! Nice forward smash. Has him off stage. It it feels like he does this so frequently. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Ooh, the boost. Uh, never mind. Um, I don't know what just happened. I think, was he out of gas? Yeah, he was out of boost, but like, he boosted up then fair and then fell past the ledge. I thought he, I think he thought he had another boost so, he, that, he, so that he would sweet spot. Oh, punish? Gosh. Mm, nothing. He got positioning. Yeah, he did, which is very important, but, uh, he messed up one wreath and that could have been. Uh, much more damage, but it, this uh, is two yeah, times I, though that we've seen Oracle just tank it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This is very uncharacteristic. Because I imagine he had gas still left, and he didn't use any of it up until that point. It's true. Ooh, Nair has him off stage. No. He doesn't even worry about about continuing to shuffle. He lets him get back onto the stage because he wants to get the grab game started. Ooh, Force Smash gets him with a snipe laser. Oh, he tried to mark kill it. Until Marth Killer even works against uh, as Rob because he's floatier than Marth. Um, who knows? Down throw has him off. No, great fastball to grab the ledge. Hmm, I was shooting up air to keep him. Oh, oh no! The caboose. <laughs> so it is worth noting that both these players have really strong item games, as you touched on previously. Yeah. So. You've noticed that this time around the top isn't as much of a factor. Yeah, I don't know um, why. I don't know. I feel I feel like um, the way Lunchables is playing, he's maintaining space in a way that the top is just not beneficial to him. So it's just I think he just feels like it's too risky to go for the top right now. He just kind of because he's just fighting. Lunchables, I think that is that a first? No, he's beaten the Oracle before. Actually, if that first time he went Marth against a Rob was against Oracle at an IAB like six months ago or something. Oh, wow. It's been a minute since we've seen those two face off. 